Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the euro currency. So yesterday we saw the downside reaction stands in the market right on the 127 extension of the most recent downside swing. Very often this extension works like the resistance. It can't be treated in a, literally as a target, but uh, very often it becomes the destination point of the first upward swing, reversal upward swing. But at the same time, um, Overall reaction initially was relatively strong, especially in the gold market, but later it a bit slowed down. And uh, the major question is what we're going to do in the current circumstances. Should we take the short position already or maybe it makes sense to wait a bit? So in general, you know our position that we suspect that around this area, around 1 or 6 on um, euro currency and around 1 or 5 on the dollar index. And by the way, you can see here is also a nice pullback. Once the market has hit the major FIB level, uh, dollar indexes were sold on the weekly chart. And in general, overall background looks attractive for standing of the significant pullback here. But unfortunately, currently, well, not quite unfortunately, just because it's uh, too small time has passed since the moment of the testing of the level. And the same we could say on the euro currency. Maybe this is really starting of the downward action. But uh, to not make a mistake, we need to get a bit more confirmation. That's our view currently. If we would get, say, yesterday significantly stronger down reduction here, well, that might be a bit different story. But at this moment, market hasn't quite confirmed even minor uh, bearish patterns on the hourly chart. So let's wait at least for some maybe minor patterns and then make the decision on the possible position taken. So on the fall time from chart, you could see that market is just retesting these previous stops. This is not the butterfly guys because this is this spike is greater than this one and the same on the dollar index there we also do not have the downside butterfly with the butterfly it was a bit simpler our grubber that we discussed on the weekend has worked nice so indeed market was able to move slightly higher and complete 105.97 so as we warned we talked about this 105.75 105.95 that's approximately the destination point that we have and then we see minor bounce this the, the, the speed, the strength of this bounce is, well, relatively gradual. It's not really some collapse and some sharp reversal where a lot of sellers have stepped in and shown the downward breakout. And uh, that's the reason why I still think that we need a bit more uh, guarantee that um, it's indeed we are go going down. And for example, on our chart, we could consider at least minor patterns. So, by the way, guys, ABCD OP also has been completed. Uh, well, on my, on 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 the mine chart, you could see that we have uh, the gap, but I have checked on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange on the futures. There is no gap, so maybe on other retail uh, brokers also you will, we will not see this gap. So it seems that some feature of the FX chase. So anyway, um, here I think that we could wait and at least for some kind of the minor patient. For instance, if we will have here a kind of the hand and shoulders then we could start thinking about the taking position because in this case we definitely know where to place the stop where the our risk what the risk value and so on in the current moment here is actually market stance of the 618 support for the most upper action and uh, we do not have any clear bearish patterns yet and this minor pullback that we've got recently it is too early to treat as a well, starting point of something big so we need to wait a bit more so that's our position currently on uh, your